I first started in journalism uh, working on the high school newspaper, the, the Booster in Abilene, Kansas, uh, when I was a junior in high school, and I just loved it. And I remember writing the first article, which was a basketball story about one of the games we were going to play. And at that time, I loved sports more than about anything else. Uh, but it, there was, it was only about a two paragraph story. And I walked down the halls of the school and kids would say, hey, Marlon, I saw that article, great article. And I'm thinking, what a deal. I write this two paragraph article and people recognize me and saying I'm doing a good job. What is this? And uh, my ego took over, I think. And from then on, I was hooked. I really didn't know Franklin Pierce before I heard from the president of the university. Uh, and so I came here not really knowing what to expect. And I came up the, the hill by Pearly Pond and I thought, my God, this is a beautiful place. It was a great experience physically as it, as it is because it's so beautiful and the environment here is, is terrific. And I remember when uh, the president of Franklin Pierce came to me back in 19, the late 90s, 1997, 98. And uh, he had just asked me to be on the board of directors. And he said, we need to build a new communication center. Can we put your name on it? And I said, well, if you don't ruin it. And he agreed. And uh, so we set out to raise money and holding dinners and giving speeches and things like that. And uh, finally got the money it takes to build it. There's six, eight, 10 people who uh, gave me a break in one way or another that really, that really pushed me along or that helped me. And uh, so I, I, I find it rewarding for, my, for me to be able to, to do that now. I would like to see uh, broadcasts from Franklin Pierce uh, that go all over the country, whether it's basketball games, uh, here at the university or uh, participation in the broader, uh, broader world in terms of news coverage and the ability of journalists to cover stories. And of course, being in New Hampshire, you have so many politicians coming through here with elections of every kind. Uh, the students get a chance to that and that was a natural for me because I had been in the White House for 10 years before I arrived at Franklin Pierce. Life is, has those ups and downs in every career and every uh, profession and so forth, and there's always winning and losing, but uh, you just keep prodding ahead and you uh, t turn your, your losses into uh, learnable experiences, if you will, and, uh, and keep on going. And it's been a, a great experience for me over the 10 years. One, that they've allowed me to actually help uh, design the, uh, the activities of the, of the uh, faculty and, the, and the, the directors of the center. And then working with the, the students like yourselves uh, has been very exciting. And you see all these great uh, uh, kids come in and they, they're so uh, energized and fresh and looking for new ways to express themselves and, uh, and creative and doing interviews and stuff, and they have none of the cynicism that I have after 50 years, none of the, none of the uh, cri criticism that I hold for various segments of the, of the uh, population. And it's just great to work with, with uh, young people who have a pure interest in journalism and in developing their talents. So it's been very exciting for me.